Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 rounds drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hey everyone, my name is Nagato's Revenge and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully everyone is staying safe and everyone is doing okay for today. One thing I do want to state before I even get into the premise of today's video, I do apologize for me being inactive on YouTube. I haven't been posting really um, since about a week since I had a lot of stuff to do um, personally in my life. However, I'm back on and I'm ready to you know produce some more videos for you guys. And with that being all out the way for today's video, I'm going to be teaching you on how to install slash um, Irisman version 4.86.1, which is the latest version as i'm recording this video as of today for your modded playstation 3 so this does work with custom firmware and as well it does work with hfw and hen so i did test this on my hen system which i'm going to be recording on today but this does work with um rebug as well as um actual dex firmware for like dcrs and stuff like that one thing i do want to state what is iris man if some people don't know it's basically a all-in-one file manager so it's kind of like an alternative to multi-man and as you can see right now on the screen i will have basically just a link of the patch notes for iris man and what i'll do right now since i'm reading this on my pc to you guys i'll just kind of cherry pick some um cool features that i personally like um that iris man supports so it does have ntfs uh support it also has a uh, retro arc support so basically it is or basically iris man allows you to enable uh your retro game so if you have like super nintendo roms a uh, gba it can basically mount them from iris man and then port you to um retro arc itself which i think is pretty cool um added support to psp games uh it has multimedia files so it basically um allows you to listen to music video pictures and such and so forth i'm not really going to read all of the um patch notes here um if you guys want to you know check that out you could see here you could type in the link in the description down below or check the pinned comment or you can just type it in the url for the actual github and the source code for iris man with that being all out the way as well, I do want to get started on today's prerequisites and anything just like any of my other videos will be in the link in the description down below as well as a pinned comment and that includes any useful links and guides. However, um, you need a PS3 that is either on custom firmware or HFW or HEN install. So like I stated before earlier, Rebug 4.84 CFW is fine. I tested this on my deck system or you can use the latest version of hybrid firmware which is 4.86 or you can use 4.85 if you're still using a outdated version as long as your playstation 3 can run unsigned code and install packages basically you are good to go as well you'll need of course uh, iris man version 4.86.1 which is the latest version and last but not least you need a usb that is formatted to fat32 once you have all of these items we're ready to go on the pc and get started on the rest of the process Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro and now you're ready to go, what we're going to do is go ahead and launch up our web browser. So whether if you're using like Firefox, Google Chrome, I'm just using Google Chrome for this nature. What you need to do in the link in the description down below as well as in the pinned comment, I will have the official GitHub website where you can find the actual all-in-one backup manager aka Iris Man and as well as the latest version. Before we even, um, I basically teach you guys on how to download it, I do recommend go ahead and reading the whole read me if you want to learn all about the change logs and basically what um iris man has to offer just restating um some things here you can see that uh it has access to the internet browser um it supports uh um, basically spoofing your idps and psid so basically your playstation 3 uh, console id um it's added support with retro arc it has the xmb and multi-man style gui layout um you can see that it has some other cool things like supports background images from um icons or on pk or pick through pgen or excuse me png if i could talk today basically those are just the um video game icons from the actual playstation disc or you know data itself but assuming that you guys did um you know read the actual readme before installing all you need to do is go into releases and get the latest version of the release so this basically was um released uh four days ago so this is the latest version and what we need to do is just go ahead and download it so um, if you're watching this video and there is a newer version of this, I recommend using always the newest version of the application. But once it's uh, fully downloaded on your end, which I'm gonna just cancel out this right now since I already have it on my desktop, what we need to do is go ahead and transfer this over to a USB. So you can see here, this is Irisman um, 4.86 PKG. It's roughly um, the size of 20 megabytes, it's 19.9. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and open up to File Explorer and we're gonna find our USB 
SSB drive. So what I'm going to do here is basically before we even uh, transfer any data onto here, I do want to state um, if you have any important data or objects on your USB drive, make sure to back it up because we need to verify if your thing is on FAT32. If your USB is on like XFAT or NTFS, you will need to be reformatting. However, if it's FAT32 and you can check by right clicking and hitting properties. And then once you hit file system um, FAT32 or if it says like XFAT or NTFS, you basically got to reformat it. But if it's on FAT32, then you're going to go for this process and then you can be able to just drag and drop the PKG. So for example, if you're on FAT32, all you would have to do is just literally drag and drop uh, Iris Man. But let's say if you were on XFAT or NTFS, all you would have to do is right click over it, go into format make sure you have your data backed up of course um if you on ntfs or xfat make sure you switch it to fat32 allocation unit size it doesn't matter just put it to default um usb volume label that's just the name of your usb i'm just going to label it as, as that quick format make sure this is um toggled on or you will be spending a lot of time um wasting um in terms of reformatting your drive and then all you would have to do is hit ok And then once it's fully done, you'll get basically, um, what you might call it a little prompt on the screen saying format complete. All you would have to do is hit okay. And then once that is fully done, open backup file explorer, find your USB drive. So this is it right here and go and transfer over Iris man PKG. If your thing is now on fat 32, assuming that everyone is on the same place and now you're basically good to go. So you did verify it's on fat 32. You have the PKG on the root of the USB. Do not put it in any folders. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and close this out. Go into hidden icons. We're going to go to our safely remove hard drive or hardware and eject a media right click over it and we're going to eject our usb drive so this is the one i just transferred my stuff over and now what we're going to do is go to our playstation 3 and then get this all set up so as of right now we need to plug in our usb to the rightmost usb slot on the ps3 and i'll explain the next steps later on in the video Alrighty guys, so as showcase here, I am on my PlayStation 3 itself. So as of right now, you should have your controller set up. You should have your USB in the right most USB port. I will have a little picture up on the screen so you can understand what I'm saying by that. Um, basically, you want the USB to be the one that is nearest into your, or basically the one that's closest to your Blu-ray drive if I could talk today. But what we're gonna do as of right now, just to showcase that um, this process fully works, I'm gonna actually delete Iris Man. I am running HFW Hen. Note, once again, you can run this on um, CFW just fine without enabling Hen. All you gotta do is just install the packages. But all we gotta do if you're on Hen, um, there's just one extra step. I'm already assuming that you're already on HFW. If not, I will have a card right now on the screen. But once you guys um, enable Hen, once you have your PlayStation 3 on, all you would have to do is just wait for it to basically run the payload and then just go ahead and hit yes to close out the browser. And now once you're um, fully um, done with that step, all we need to do is go into package manager, install package files, the third option standard, and install Iris Man. It shouldn't take too long. It's literally only 20 megabytes in um, file size. And then once it's fully done, what we're going to do is go into Iris Man. So let me just boot that into here and yeah. Just waiting for it to do its thing. Hopefully it won't take too long. It's still at a black screen, but it's pretty normal. Okay, so once you're into Iris Man, you'll get like this general uh, setup if it's your first time. And basically it's just to set up your um, screen to adjust to your monitor. Um, either A, you could hit cross to save the official settings, circle to reset the default settings, which I just did here. And then all you gotta do is just go ahead. If you wanna select your language, um, you can press square. But what I'm gonna do now is just hit X. And then it will ask you, do you wanna use dev underscore CD zero games to install your game that? Mostly um, all the time you would have your games into this um, directory. So just go ahead and hit yes. But as showcased here, here is Iris Man itself. And as you can see here, um, it picks up all of my games, even my retro arc titles, which I was um, explaining on earlier. So if I did have retro arc installed, um, if I click on X, I don't have it installed, but it will be able to basically launch this game uh, for um, within Iris Man, so it basically mounts it. Um, you can see here uh, it has the actual some of my PS3 titles I have on this um, PlayStation 3. 
if I hit up and uh, down on the D-pad, it will basically scan the USB drive. It will scan if I have videos. It will detect if I have any homebrew, which I do. I do have uh, NTFS and I have uh, Webman. Um, you can see here it scans all the PS3 titles I have. And it's purely a uh, pretty simple on how to launch this. Uh, one cool thing about this as well, if I wanted to, um, you know, change the game options for like PlayStation 3 titles, uh, let me go, just go ahead and toggle back to a PS3 one real quick. Give me a moment, guys. Um, all right, so we could do, uh, I don't know, Silent Hill. And you can see here, if I wanted to change like the config to a game, if I wanted to boot from um, what autoplay, what, what man, if I wanted to turn on BDMU, I can. Um, if I wanted to external uh, have an eboot.bin, or if I wanted to direct boot, I can basically have a configuration for the set games. If I wanted to build an ISO and basically copy the game as well, you can do that within Iris Man. Um, if I wanted to update the game, as long as I have my Wi-Fi on or have it to favorites, I can add all of that stuff. So just some cool options but then with that I'm um, also with iris man as well it tells you um, you know basically your systems temperature as well as your hard drive space so you can see my uh, CPU is at 78 Celsius and my RSX chip is at 66 but yeah especially um, I'll show you guys that this uh, you know launches games just fine just like multi-man let me go ahead and just click on a game real quick just to show you guys that it will boot back into um, Multi-Man itself. I mean, excuse me, the game of choice. Let me see. All right. Um, all right, so all you would have to do if you just wanted to select your title, I did Assassin's Creed. All you would have to do is just hit X, wait for your console to boot back onto X and B, which I'm waiting for it to do here. And then you could see here that um, the game has actually mounted so you can see that assassin's creed brotherhood let's say if i really wanted to play it all i would have to do is hit x on my uh controller and then um the game will boot so what i'll do right here as of right now is just wait for the full title to boot and then i'll just end the video right here just to kind of give you guys a general um basically synopsis on this homebrew application if you guys did enjoy this video you can see here that um assassin's creed is now booting up just fine like if i had the disc in but yeah that's essentially on how to set up iris man and just giving you a quick kind of guide and throw around on how to use this homebrew application if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to like subscribe and share with your friends but with that being said my name is nagato and i'm signing out peace Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace